So you're thinking about moving to Tennessee. You want to know what some of the good things are, some of the bad things. Well, I put together 11 negative things about actually living in Tennessee. We relocated there from Southern California, so I know exactly what it's like to live in Tennessee, what the good things and the bad things are. So I'm going to share those with you right now. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Greg Spackman. I'm with the Living in Nashville, Tennessee channel. So if you want to learn everything about what it's like to live here, eat here, sleep here, play here in the Nashville area or in Tennessee in general, then please click the subscribe button and the bell to be notified every time I do new videos. I've been getting a ton of people that are reaching out to me about moving and relocating to Nashville or Tennessee in general, and I absolutely love it. So if that's you, give me a call. Shoot me a text, send me an email. I'd love to talk to you more about your journey here to Tennessee. And so the number one thing that you need to know when living in Tennessee is Tennessee is a red state. It is very, very conservative. This is why a lot of people are relocating to Tennessee because of its red state, how its politics are, all of that. And whether you are a conservative or not, it doesn't seem to make any difference. People just want to move to Tennessee because of that reason. So Nashville and Memphis are both pretty heavily uh, blue as far as that goes. So they vote different than the rest of the state does. Knoxville is more red. So the further east you go in the state, the more conservative it gets. And then the further out you go from both Memphis and Nashville, it gets more and more conservative. So just know that that's the way that, that the state is, and I don't see that changing anytime soon. The current governor is a Republican, and most of the other House seats and Senate seats are both Republican-based. The number two negative, and this is one of the things that I like least about living in Tennessee, and that's the weather. I absolutely despise once it hits mid-June through September, where it's hot, it's humid, it's not nasty. It's not my favorite weather at all. Growing up in Southern California with it having the best weather anywhere where it's not humid and it doesn't get super, super hot, moving to Nashville was a big shock to us. You know, I've been to places like Hawaii and the Caribbean where you deal with humidity, but living in it on a daily basis, it's not all that great. Like a lot of times when I go to show properties, I'll walk out from our house or my office, get in my car, by the time I am in my car, I feel like I really need another shower. So I don't know if you know what that feels like. However, I have a number of clients that have relocated that absolutely love the humidity. So it really is going to depend on you. The other thing you need to know about weather would be tornadoes. And we do have tornadoes that come through Tennessee. Different parts of Tennessee have more or less tornadoes. So we want to do that research. And that's something we can definitely talk about making sure that you're in maybe the least tornado uh, prone area. But there are things you can do for tornadoes, tornado different shelters and that sort of thing you can do at your house to help protect yourself from that. But just know that as far as the winter time goes in Tennessee, you're absolutely going to love winters. It typically doesn't get too cold. It doesn't really snow all that much. If it snows, it's maybe a half an inch on most of the years. If we do get uh, more snow every so many years where it'll snow maybe a foot at most, but that's gone within three or four days typically. So just know that we don't really get a lot of snow. Fall is absolutely amazing. You get the leaf, colors of the leaves changing and all of that. Springtime, once again, all the leaves fell during the winter and fall. So springtime, all of that is coming back to life. So it's like a completely different landscape. Uh, to see out in the just the rolling hills with the grass and everything else. And then the hay bales you're going to see are amazing. They do the round ones, which look super, super cool uh, when they have those out. So that would be weather number two thing that you need to know about. Uh, the number three negative thing about living in Tennessee would be Tennessee is a super religious state. It is in the Bible Belt. There are more churches than I've seen pretty much anywhere except for maybe in Utah. But when we moved there, we didn't really know that it had that many churches, as many as we saw when we visited. They're just everywhere you go. And then as you, after you've lived there a while, you don't see as many as you did when you first came because it's such a shock. But uh, something else you need to make note, when we first moved to 
uh, Tennessee, they used to not be able to sell wine in the grocery store. You had to go to the liquor store, which would be right next to the grocery store or like Costco. It'd be right outside of Costco. So you do your Costco shopping and then you'd go into the liquor store next to the Costco. So that was kind of different for us. Then they passed a thing that allowed them to sell wine in the grocery stores. Everybody went nuts and bought a ton. You used to see people buying 6, 12, 18 bottles at a time from the grocery stores like they'd never bought wine before. Super funny, but now it's kind of settled and, you know, the people who buy, buy. The people who don't, don't. You don't really see it like you did for that short period of time. The number four negative thing about living in Tennessee is all the tourism. So unless you're involved in the tourism field or your job or you own some sort of business, there are a ton of tourists. So many people come every year to Tennessee, whether they go to East Tennessee to like Pigeon Forge and rent one of the cabins or Dollywood, that sort of thing. Or they go to Nashville because they're having a bachelorette or bachelor party and they want to go party in downtown on Broadway. They want to go to Predator game or Titan game or Nashville Sounds game. Just Nashville in general. Out west in Memphis, you got the Elvis Presley place that you can visit out there. They have this pyramid for that you can go visit. There's a ton of things in Memphis you can go and visit. Memphis also has better barbecue than Nashville does or East Tennessee. So if you're going to want to try barbecue, then you want to try Memphis barbecue because it's better. Tourism is a big, big deal, big part of the economy for the state of Tennessee. The number five thing, this is something I don't like. My wife loves it, though, and that's that it rains a ton. It rains almost every day, it feels like, in Tennessee. It's one of the things that helps make it stay so green and ha not have really a big water problem. But it rains a lot, so just know that you're going to deal with rain a lot in thunderstorms and lightning storms, which I've had clients that absolutely love the thunderstorms and lightning storms, taking photos, got all into photography for it. It's super cool. It typically rains more inches a year than it does in Seattle. In Tennessee, just we get a lot of rain. And they have had a few times where we've gotten massive amounts in like a day or two period. Like when we had the Great Flood of 2010 where they remapped all the flood zones of housing and everything. They had a massive amount of rain, 20 plus inches over two days, I think it was. But it just rains a lot. And you just need to know that if you're not a big fan of rain, um, then, you know, Tennessee may not be the best state. Number six thing, as far as things you need to know about living in Tennessee, and that's the walkability factor. So if you lo love walking to your coffee shops and your local restaurants and all of that, there are places that you can pick to live where it is walkable, but a lot of it is non-walkable. You're going to need your car or motorcycle to get around pretty much. So just know that ahead of time. And that's Definitely something we can discuss over which part of Tennessee you want to live. But when you live out in the middle of nowhere, you are going to be needing a car because you might be 15 minutes from the grocery store, for instance. The number seven thing, and this is awful, and they tried to do something in Nashville for it, but that's public transportation. You got buses, Uber and Lyft, and the Heel Toe Express, and that's really it as far as getting around. There's no light rail system, no nothing else as far as getting around. And I wish they would fix that after spending some time in Utah and then also other parts of the country where they have, you know, and when you go to Manhattan, they have amazing transportation there to get around. But Tennessee just doesn't seem to do that. It's everything is based on your car. And that's pretty much how they expect you to get around. And then they don't seem to want to widen the freeways for you to be able to get everywhere. So it leads to more and more traffic. The number eight negative thing about living in Tennessee would be construction. So there's construction everywhere from roads to building new subdivisions to building homes, everything. They're just building and building and building and building. You go to downtown Nashville and you can see tons of cranes. They're going to have that in Knoxville and in Memphis as they just expand the landscape and just add millions of more people that are going to be living in Tennessee because people like you want to move there, which is awesome, but it requires construction. So you're going to see road construction all over the place, depending upon where you go, whether they're widening this or changing that or adding this new subdivision with brand new homes. It's just construction. The number nine negative thing about living in Tennessee is allergies. Tennessee is one of the worst states for allergies. So just know that if you have allergies or maybe you never had them and you just figure out that you have them, 
Highly recommend you go to one of the allergy centers, get tested, go to your doctor, have them tell you what you need to do. Just know that allergies are a big uh, deal in Tennessee. And while they're a big deal, you can remedy it with some um, over-the-counter medicine typically that works. For me, I use Flonase and a little blue Claritin pill. It seems to cause my allergies not to be all that bad. It's really bad for me, usually in the springtime and the fall. Seems to coincide with the farmers moving all the dirt around, so dust and pollen, and that seems to be my big issue, but you may have something else. Just know that there are remedies for it, but allergies are a big deal in Tennessee. Number 10 negative is traffic. So traffic is worse around the big cities, of course. So your Knoxville, Memphis, uh, Nashville, Murfreesboro, that's where you're going to see the worst traffic that you're going to have as closer you get to the big cities. And then sometimes when you're further out, when people are driving to and from certain cities, Tennessee touches a bunch of other states. So people are driving through all these other states through Tennessee, and that can lead to traffic, especially on holiday weekends. And everybody's trying to get from, say, Kentucky all the way down to Florida so they can enjoy the beaches over that long weekend then Nashville traffic is even worse. So just know that traffic is a problem. They don't really seem to be widening the roads like they should or putting any sort of mass transit for you to get anywhere around. Be awesome if they could do some sort of mass transit from say Knoxville all the way down to Florida. So you could get, you know, you could take that down to the beach. That would be amazing, but they're not doing anything like that. And I don't, I don't know, hopefully they will sometime in the future. The number 11 negative thing about living in Tennessee is it's landlocked. So you do not have an ocean nearby. You're looking at eight to nine hours to get down to Alabama, Mississippi, or Florida to the panhandle to get to an ocean. So if you're coming from an ocean, just know that it's landlocked. There isn't an ocean nearby. However, once you get here, you're going to find that you spend time on the river or in one of the lakes if you want your water sports, you know, your boating and fishing and all of that. So we have some great fishing that you can do as well. Just know that we are landlocked, so you're not going to be able to have that be something you're able to get to real easily, especially me when I came from California where I was 20 minutes away from the beach. One, one bonus negative thing is Tennessee is home to four nuclear power plants. So some people, that's a problem. However, for me, that leads to cheaper energy. So your electricity costs are typically cheaper in Tennessee than they are in other states. You can do some of that research, of course, but that's something you should be aware of. So if you wanted to live in a state that doesn't have a nuclear power plant, then Tennessee would not be that state currently while they still have their nuclear power plants open and operational. So hopefully those negatives are not enough for you not to want to make that move here to uh, Tennessee. So if you're looking at Memphis or you're looking at Nashville or Knoxville, anywhere in the state of Tennessee, please reach out to me. Give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. Love to talk to you about Tennessee and how you could relocate to Tennessee. And until next time, I'm out.